Hello everyone, welcome to another ChatGPT4 tutorial video. In this video, I will show you whether or not you can upload audio files to ChatGPT. So yes, you can actually upload files to ChatGPT. Now, as you can see, we're currently here on default GPT-3, but if we go here and if we go and uh, add a new chat here, as you can see, we have to upgrade to plus in order to have access to code interpreter. So we basically want code interpreter. If you don't know how to use it, make sure to go and to watch some of our other videos on how to use code interpreter and how to upload audio files to chat GPT. So <clears throat> basically, as you can see, this is one tweet that I found, uh, by the way, shout out to AI and used. I hope I pronounced that right. But basically he created this image right here with a waveform. And he created this in ChatGPT for code interpreter. So he was using a code interpreter for this. So as you can see right here, basically he recorded the voice, he uploaded the voice to code interpreter, he gave prompt to convert this file into a WAV file, and then the prompt was using the WAV file as input or WAV file as input, please bandpass filter it between 300 hertz and 3000 hertz starting three seconds in and going until the end. So as you can see, uh, then he created the background image. So basically the background image, we can skip this step, but basically, um, you know, just from this step, you can basically go and upload uh, the audio file to chat GPT. And then later on, you can obviously give the, uh, the prompt, something like this, create an MP4 file using the image file as a background and the WAV file for audio. I would like you to superimpose the audio file waveform across the center of the image from left to right. So as you can see, you can create a lot of different things with code interpreter, but basically one of the things is uploading audio files to chat GPT-4. So that's pretty much how you can upload chat GPT-4 uh, audio files or audio files into chat GPT-4. Again, you only need to have a code interpreter and uh, this can be enabled if you go to settings and beta features and enable the code interpreter. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video.